Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Nora here. I'm coming to you with a Valentine's Day inspired Fashion Nova Curve haul. This is my first time purchasing from them. And I'll let you all know that I was extremely hesitant, apprehensive, and nervous about making this purchase just because I am all woman a 22 24 sometimes 24 26 and their sizing 3x is a 20 and i'm like what is that 20 about to cover on me now with these arms and this belly nothing oh before i go any further if you all enjoy my content, you love learning about styling your curves, um, if you're on your faith journey, if you're on your journey to becoming the woman you've been called to be, you're trying to find your purpose in life, really trying to build a glam life. Um, if you're a struggling millennial woman, just trying to get on your feet and figure out who you've been called to be, I'm the right channel for you. Um, I'm on that journey as well, just trying to become a better Nora and figure out who God's called me to be. But anyway, go ahead, subscribe, join the family, keep on coming back, click that bell notification so you can receive notifications as soon as I release new hot content. And also like this video, comment on the video, and invite your friends to watch as well. But anyway, without further ado, I will be right back with you with all of my Fashion Over Valentine's Day Curve Haul. Be right back. Get me body, get me body, get me body, do, do, do. Okay. <laughs> what do you all think of the Cool Breeze mini dress here? It's a midi. Comes right at the knees. It's off the shoulder as much as you want it to. You could do like one shoulder a little bit up, one shoulder off, both shoulders farther down, as up as you want them. It's up as close or loose as you want it to be. This isn't a 3X, so this is their 20, and it's stretchy. Um, I did put on, pardon me y'all, I do have on my little biker shorts, just because I wanted a smoother look but I'm gonna leave a video on my Instagram. Um, that's Instagram, just search Nora Zaneta, N-O-R-A-Z-A-N-E-T-A, and you can see the video of this dress without the shapewear, without my biker shorts. But this is so lovely. Um, just like a silver shoe, maybe, you know, a sparkly shoe, something like that. Um, maybe silver necklace. I have a heart-shaped necklace and like heart earrings that will look cute with this. But this is such a sophisticated look. This makes me feel like a grown woman. Every girl needs a little black dress. You can't go wrong with a little black dress. And this is a perfect little black dress. Um, it gives me a lot of va va voom. I feel like a woman. At first, I was like Britney Spears. I'm not a girl. I'm not just. Not yet a woman, you know. All I need is time. I'm hoping that it's fine while I'm in between. I'm not a girl. But anyway, I feel like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. Anyway, I actually really love this. This is something that's so classy. Like, you're not doing too much, but it's still like... I was here. You know what I mean? It's an eye catcher. This is something lovely, elegant, sophisticated to wear. You could pull a blazer over it and rock it in a professional setting. Um, some tights and maybe a duster or a fur stole could take this into church with a nice church hat. You know, get a crown, sophisticated. This is just so glamorous, but like, I don't have to do too much. Sometimes simplicity is key. I love crazy prints and everything, but sometimes simplicity is key. Sometimes you don't have to do everything. You know, you say it best when you say nothing at all. This dress speaks for you. 
I would tell y'all, I was scared crazy about ordering from them from Fashion Nova just because I'm a whole lot of woman and I just did not think that material was going to handle me. You know what I mean? Handle me. Who can handle me? Didn't think that 3X was going to, but it looks great. Love this. On to the next. All right, I thought that this would be cute for Valentine's Day. Um, just something sleek, something a little sensual, something a little flirty, but something that's not typical, not your standard dress. Um, something where you could rock a pretty wine, red color wig. You know what I mean? Have something else be a red accent. You could do a nice, like, smoky eye and like a nude lip, you know, thinking that kind of romantic look. Um, I am 5'2", 5'3", about 5'3", and these pants cover me, y'all. I, I felt like putting on heels, but it's too late in the evening for that. I got to go to work in the morning, work in the morning. But yeah, I feel like the Hamburglar. I feel like a plus-size criminal at Halloween. Um, this is like the Alley Cat jumpsuit, striped jumpsuit. It's in a 2X. I wanted a 3X. I feel like maybe a 3X would have helped. Here's what I don't like about Fashion Nova. They make the arms so tight. So in the 20, women who are like me, a true 22 or a true 24, you know what I mean? If you have, you don't have the thin arms like the model or the thin, long, sleek body like the model, you're going to have some problems with the arms. It's tight, y'all. It shouldn't be this tight. This may, I don't know, some people like tight and your body rocks, you look good, you feel it, you're confident. This, I'm at a point in my journey where I'm thinking about my legacy and what kind of woman I want to be. And I'm trying to find my calling and moving in my purpose and walking in my calling. And while I, I need there to be a blend, you know, a nice balance of my youth. I am 27 years young and I still want to be young, fun and flirty. I still want to have fun, but I want to do it in the right way. And I want to present myself in the right way. I've always loved glam. You know, a little bit of body, a little bit of curve, like sensual, you know, for maybe a night out. But never like, pop, pop, poop, pop, bing, pong. You know what I mean? Like, everything out. And I felt like my breast is competing. I had to take a bobby pin and close that up so I wasn't exposed there. It's tight here. Too long here, you know, <laughs> because I'm short. And then it's drowning me at the bottom. I don't know. Maybe a 3X would have helped the material also here. Like in here, it's coming off. Maybe because my chest is too big. I don't know. This just ain't working for me. It's, it's not doing it. It's just not. This is not. I don't know. Maybe I'll revisit this. But I thought this would be a lovely Valentine's Day look. Just something out of the typical that's not a straight out. Here's a red dress. You know what I mean? Um, something fun, something to give you some shape, some body, something cute to wear out on a Galentine's Day girls night out or to a movie or taking yourself out on a date, self-care for all you single gals and guys who are like me, you know what I mean? Enjoying the day alone. My mom's my Valentine, but yeah, I don't know. I'm conflicted. I feel like. I am on trial and I am about to be sentenced for this atrocity. I don't know y'all, maybe a 3X would have done it, but this ain't it. This just ain't it for me. It ain't it. But it may work for some of you. Cute for Valentine's Day. Even a business look, you could do a navy blazer with like gold buttons. You know what I mean? A gold chain necklace. Um, you could have like a cute waist belt here, tie this in the back. I mean, there's so much you can do, but I just don't like how it hugs my body too much. But like, I want you to look at me and say, wow, she's got some style. She's got some flair, but I want you to get to know Nora. I don't want you to be worried about my thighs and my breasts and what you can get out of me.
So this is the She's So Vain bandage dress in a 3X. I love this. Um, it looks better in my strapless bra, but y'all, it's almost 10 o'clock and this is gonna do, okay? You get the idea, you get the idea. I wear a 46i, so this is giving me a great shape. I don't feel like my breasts look weird. This is nice. It is a little long on me, but sometimes length is sophisticated. You know what I mean? I love this burnt orange color. It's something a little bit different for Valentine's Day. Um, not your typical red, white, or black, or like sequin, you know? So cute, gives you a lot of shape. It's like a good, thick, constricting material. Um, I feel like a woman that's a 22, 24 like me, or even a 24, 26 would have some room in this. Again, my only qualm is that everything is so long. I'm a petite plus, and I feel like I'm drowning in almost everything. But with the heel, this length isn't too bad. I saw Mia the Boss wearing this. She's one of my favorite like plus size influencers, bloggers. And I saw it on her and I was like, do you know, she's a brown girl. This may look good. This has like a gold seam in the back. Sorry, I can't show too much. I don't want y'all to see my bra. One issue with being single is trying to put on things like this, where I would need someone to pull up the back over my bra. And I'm like, short arms, I can't do it. Can't reach anyway, someone help me. You know, that's pretty much the way that I'm rocking right now. But I could possibly take a hanger and try to pull everything up. Anyway, short girl hacks, single girl hacks. But this for, you know, a night out, maybe going to a lounge, um, going to a museum, you know, date night on Valentine's Day. This would be so cute. With like a gold heel or like a brown, like tan beige, something like that. Be so cute. On to the next. See y'all soon. So this is the Mariah Slit set. It could be split, but I don't have time to even check. I'll put all the links in the bottom. I thought this would, you know, be so out of my comfort zone. This is something a little bit more, hello, I'm here, you know. It's like a bandeau top here. I'm not wearing my sports bra or, pardon me, my strapless bra because I am about to go to bed. I've told y'all a billion times, but I thought this was really unique, really cute. You can wear these with sandals, a strappy heel. You can dress, dress it up, dress it down. High ponytail, hair flowing in the wind, a sleek ponytail straight back, minimal, you can chunky chain. There's so much you can do denim, maybe plaid t-shirt or a denim jacket wrapped around the waist, a duster along with this. A chained waist belt would be cute. You know, there's so much that you could do with this. I think that this is really cute for Valentine's Day. Again, I'm learning to be comfortable with my body. I'm still learning at 27. Every day is a winding road. Um, and having my belly out, having my body and everything all out is like really making me anxious. But this is cute. Let me know how you would rock this if you would wear this for Valentine's Day. This is so cute. I feel like bridesmaid a little bit, but then it's like bridesmaid, but leg, leg. You know, I'm not used to having all of my thigh meat out too. 
You got arms out here. I got my wings. You got my breast. You got my thighs. You got the legs. That's a whole lot of chicken out there. You know, I'm not used to all of it, but let me know how you all would rock this. <laughs> I'll be right back. Drum roll, please. Brum. <laughs> what do y'all think of this i'm on the fence one i think it's really cute is something i could wear like on a night out i don't know i love the sleeves it is a little tight here y'all so my arms and my breasts are screaming i had to finagle this top here like to the high heavens it's not big breast friendly and honestly i'm at a point where i do like the fact that like the short set comes down to my knees it's like when you have one thing on display you don't want everything on display i said in the past i give you a little body let you know that i'm here and i'm a lady but remind you that i'm a lady because i don't want you to get any misunderstandings you know, I don't know where I'd wear this, but you know, this could be cute. Kind of with the same heel that I got going on here. Um, just a new take on Valentine's Day. Cute red lip, maybe silver shadow, or like a more natural look. A smoky eye maybe with a nude lip, with a red hair like this and a cute shoe and a bag. I like it. Um, I feel like the little bedazzle thingies will fall off at some point. Um, I feel like a bat, like a glam bat, a sparkly bat. You know, I'm really not used to having my body all out like this. And I feel like I'm in a cat suit. Um, I'm normally more covered up, so I'm not sure. Now this top I could wear with something else, like some jeans. Maybe I could finagle that and not feel like, a big old like glitter glitter ball i don't know what do you all think about this this is in the 3x short set and top set tied and finagled with a bobby pin so that you don't see my nipples today because that is not what i do here okay <laughs> anyway I'm getting more comfortable with my body, um, but at the same time, I'm also trying to decide who I want to be as a woman, you know, understanding my calling and my purpose. And, you know, as you move into your purpose and as you move into the woman you want to be, and as you're moving into your calling, you know, there's certain things that you abandon. Um, and I don't want to be all body all the time because I don't need to lead or present with that all the time. Now, I do want to be comfortable in my sensuality um, and, you know, in my curves, in my body and let y'all know that I'm present. You know, I'm here and I'm confident, um, but I don't always want to be on display. So I'm really on the fence right now because I don't want it to be a look at me all the time. But sometimes a little look at me, a little leg and chest is okay just a little you know balancing it out on to the next everybody all right everybody this is my final suggestion for a cute valentine's day look from fashion over curve this is the pro lounger set in beige it's off the shoulder on one side this is very cute, like if you're going to a movie or maybe to like Applebee's or Chili's, you could throw on like a cute studded heel to dress it up. Um, you can dress it down with like a leopard flat or pink, beigey flat, brown flat. You know what I mean? There's so much you can do with it. Dress it up, dress it down. Um, but I think that this is something kind of unique. Um, it's like enough of a beige color that it almost gives you like gives like a pseudo or faux blush pink, you know, still romantic, still cute. Um, I actually love it. What uh, my friend Vaughn pointed out 
that, you know, normally with jumpsuits like this, if it's loose and off the shoulder at the top, the bottom part, the pant legs would be loose too. But I was actually able to like turn it and adjust the pants the way I wanted them to sit on my petite frame. So I'm not drowning in this. I love this. Love, 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 love this. Love it, love it, love it. I feel like this is like one of my favorite pieces because like I could wear this to the supermarket or, you know, go to the supermarket and then go, hey, let's go to Chili's and get two for one margaritas and the bean queso. You know what I mean? Like this is something that I could wear to so many occasions do so much with like a nice little box clutch would be cute and a heel again go to a museum you know you could do a lot in this again also i'm still getting used to my body my figure my shape and i'm also trying to find that blend between being a classy elegant lady and still acknowledging the fact that i'm 27 young and fun you know what i mean trying to find that blend but i feel like this gives me just enough to say I'm cute. You better know I'm cute. I've been cute, but I'm real cute right now. But also, get to know me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's that girl? What's her scene? She's a jumpsuit queen. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Love it a lot. Love it a lot. So overall, wrapping this up, y'all. First off, let me know which pieces you like the best, what look you would rock for Valentine's Day, um, what look you just would rock in general. Um, I would say by far, this piece is my favorite. I just love it. The lounge is so cute. You can do like a red pump with this. So just, I don't know, I love the way this hugs my body and I love this off the shoulder. The arm thing here is amazing. Overall, I would give my Fashion Nova first time purchase about a, a eight and a half or a nine out of 10. I'll give it a nine out of 10. You know, I was really apprehensive because I am a large and in charge lady. And at 22, 24, sometimes 24, 26 in size and 5, 3 in stature, the clothing line does focus on women who have smaller arms, slender arms, you know, flat tummies, aren't as large in the chest, you know what I mean? Either a pear shape or an hourglass shape. And I've got a few extra minutes, you know, um, I was so scared, so, so scared because when you order from Fashion Over, there's no return policy as far as you getting your money back. And I don't like to gamble. Like, not on my clothes and not with my money. I'm not going to waste my money. I don't play about that. So, <laughs> I was really apprehensive and very nervous. There were some things that I added to the order and removed and added and removed because I was just like, oh, do I want to gamble with this not fitting my body well? So, I will say you have to find pieces if you're my size 22 24 or 24 26 or larger you have to find pieces that have stretch you have to find pieces that have stretch so if you see items with spandex and those kind of things you can get those get those items now i am leery of the other items i am leery of the items with more restrictive material the items that don't have the stretch i highly doubt that they would fit me um, so I know if you're any larger than me, that would more than likely be a waste of money. Now, I'm sure there are other influencers that are maybe a, a three, or like a four X, maybe a five X. You can check Instagram, YouTube to see if there are any of those lovely ladies that are rocking Fashion Nova in the three X, if it fits for them. I think, honestly, I think it would be a push. And I want to be honest with you about what you're purchasing because I want someone to be honest with me. I saw a lot of mixed reviews and I was petrified because I was like, there are women who are my size that were like, yeah, it looks awesome, great. And there are also women who are my size that were like, avoid, don't buy this. And I was like, so what do I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you don't know what you'll like until you'll try something. You know, you have to try, you have to jump. So jump on in. 
I would suggest at least trying Fashion Nova one time before you rule it out forever. And I also would suggest finding items that have loose material and items that will stretch because those items are more friendly for your um, non-hourglass, non-pear shape, for your apple shape, your inverted triangle, you know what I mean? More bulbish, you know, more belly and body and more arms. Some of those pieces were really, really harsh on my arms. Like I was a little restricted, you know what I mean? But it was enough to where I had enough stretch to where it was passable. It wasn't like hard stop, but still I want to be comfortable. So to Fashion Nova, I would say expand your sizes past a 20. Um, there are plus size women that want to be Nova babes or plus size women who are you know, 22, 24, 24, 26, 26, 28, and 30 and 32, or even larger than that. They want to rock your clothes, but you're excluding them. So material-wise, give us some more stretch. Um, pay attention to the petite girls. Maybe give us a petite line so clothing isn't hitting past our toes. You know what I mean? Consider that some variety in the plus size that you're offering. Um, I've seen the jean reviews, and I know a ton of women are my size and can't fit the jeans. So I didn't even veer into that lane yet and I probably won't. Um, but overall, I would buy this set again. I would give Fashion Nova another try. Um, I am leery about the arms, how the arms fit. And I know for sure that I have to get a 3X. I got that jumpsuit, the striped jumpsuit in a two. And it was, a, it was hard, it was hard. It looked okay, but definitely wasn't my best look. Anyway, I would give this a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you all thought about this review. Um, thank you for watching. Before you go, if you want to see more fashion style lookbooks, talk about faith, talk about your womanhood, talk about your life as a black woman in the world, just real life stuff, faith journey, Watch me become the Nora that I want to become, the woman I want to become. Watch me walk in my purpose, those kind of things. I can encourage you. You encourage me. We'll change things together. But subscribe, join the Nora Zaneda family, share this video, comment below. Let me know what looks you like the best, what you would rock for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you've got going on for Valentine's Day. Hello to all the single gals and single guys out there. I'm going to be watching Grownish and doing my homework. I'm in my MBA program at Trevecca, so I've got homework due Saturday, and I'm going to start that on Friday, so I'm not Saturday night pulling my hair out or my wig off, one of the two. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, hope you all have a fabulous day of love, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.